Well, we're in the early stages of developing that, and um, a lot has a lot of attention's been paid on a proposal that's been circulated uh, for comment and for consultation, and. I think it was really important to, to circulate that proposal to get the conversation going. But we're listening to, now we're listening to what, the, what our consultations have delivered to us. We're taking into account everybody's views and uh, those that are involved in the system and, the, and the, 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 the opinions of average Albertans. Important to note, we, no final decisions have been made. That's to come. But one thing that Minister Dennis has been very clear on through all of this is that what won't change is your right to dispute a traffic ticket. And in actual fact, under the proposal that's been circulated, your right to dispute a traffic ticket will actually be enhanced. And as I said earlier, under the current system, because it's so overburdened, only one in a thousand people actually have a legitimate opportunity to challenge a ticket. Common sense would say that there's way more than 0.1% of people who receive a traffic ticket who have an issue with it. I would venture to say that those people did not get to a final trial before witnesses testifying because that didn't allow them access to justice. It was too difficult to get to that, to get to that uh, destination. So let's compare, let, 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 let's describe um, what the current process is. Let's say you have a, a dispute with your ticket. Uh, you can go to the prosecutor and try and make your pitch to the prosecutor for some sort of a resolution. But that prosecutor is adverse in interest to you. If you want to have a resolution before an independent arbitrator, that independent arbitrator is a justice of the peace. So what do you have to do? Currently, you'd have to appear in person, take time off work if that's required, to set a trial date down. Then, once that trial date arrives, you'd have to take another day off of work, show up in court, and conduct a trial. Now, a lot of Albertans would not be comfortable with conducting a trial on their own. They've never done it before, and it's intimidating. It takes years of legal training for lawyers like me to be comfortable doing that sort of thing. The average person, very few of them are comfortable doing so. So what does that mean? They would have to hire somebody to do it for them. So in the situation where you get a three or $400 photo radar ticket, how many people realistically, if they have a difficulty with it, can afford to take two days off work and hire somebody to dispute it for them? They just don't bother and they pay it. We want to change that so that the people who have a legitimate complaint have a more user-friendly and effective way for them to dispute those tickets, whether they're minor ones or whether they're more major ones. And as I say, nothing's been, nothing's been finalized yet, but the alternatives that are being discussed are, first of all, to have an arbitrator, an, uh, an independent adjudicator to hear this. And the key word there is independent. It's accepted throughout all of this that this person could not be anyone that has a bias one way or the other in favor or opposed to the interests of the state. That person would not be in the Department of Transportation, for one thing. That person would be hired on the basis that they receive the same compensation and their job is exactly the same, regardless whether they're deciding in favor or against the people who are disputing the ticket. Those are fundamental principles of administrative justice. And administrative justice is not a new concept. It's existed for, for decades and centuries and has delivered justice in all sorts of other areas effectively and is time-tested and true. So, that would allow people better access. So instead of doing the two days off and hiring somebody to represent your interests, you could potentially get on the phone or get on video conference, talk one-on-one -on -one without, without oaths being taken and without documents being exchanged with an independent arbitrator who would make a decision after they've, heard, or after they've heard your side of the story. What, what we hope is that that kind of an approach will deliver a far more effective, real sense of justice to people that want to dispute their traffic tickets. Not the current system, which has a theoretical um, justice uh, destination of justice that might arrive if you're, if, you're, if you're lucky to be one of the thousand people to get before a judge and hear evidence on your case. We want to make it more real for Albertans and deliver real justice to them. And that is done. That, we, we anticipate will be done administratively. And as I indicated earlier, the flip side of that is if we can develop that different system to deal with things administratively, it frees up resources to deal with what judges, prosecutors really should be doing and that's serious criminal cases so that we deliver better service to Albertans on that very important, in that very important place.